Hi, so today I'm going to be dyeing my hair black um, with Overtone, of course. I've used their products a million times. If you guys want to see me do any of their other colors, you can go check those out. I've done almost all the colors that they have. Also, I want to say thank you guys so much for 950 subscribers. That's crazy. We're almost to a thousand which is insane. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Okay, so we have the black. This is the rich black overtone um, coloring conditioner. It looks black, shocking. Um, I wanted to do black for a while now. Since fall is coming up, I thought, you know, why not go black for, you know, spooky season and all that stuff. Halloween time. Halloween is like right around the corner, which is Halloween like happening this year? I don't know. <laughs> some people I feel like are anti-Halloween going on this year and I feel like some people are gonna make it happen no matter what so I don't know if Halloween is happening this year or not but either way it's still fall and why not have black hair? I've had black hair in the past and I always like having black hair and then it ends up like fading and like growing out and then I just don't do it again and then like two or three years later I'll be like oh yeah I like my hair black and then I'll end up dyeing it black again and it's just like a weird process I don't know how I already got some on me but I already got some on me and it looks purple so that's interesting okay where is that coming from anyways so Overtone is just a color depositing conditioner. I've said this in all my videos before, but um, this isn't really like a dye necessarily. I mean it is, but it washes out like it's not permanent. So which is why I like it. <laughs> and all you have to do is start with um, dry hair and then put it on and let it sit and then you rinse it out and that's pretty much it. Um, some of my past videos you guys have commented that um, to try doing it with wet hair so that's something that you could try I don't know the directions say to do it on dry hair but I know a lot of people in the comments have said that they've done it with damp hair or wet hair it turned out better or like the color lasted longer when they did that so I don't know if that's true or not but I just have dry hair so I don't know this has like a purpley undertone to it kind of I don't know if that shows up on camera at all it just looks black on camera but it has like a purpley undertone which is interesting obviously my hair is pretty dark to start so I'm expecting this to be pretty black <laughs> but if you have lighter hair I don't know how it would turn out but we're gonna see how this turns out I don't even know how this is gonna turn out <laughs> somehow I've already managed to get this on my arm and on my countertop so that's fun I do get a lot of questions about like staining does this stain I mean yes and no I guess uh, it does kind of stain I've had it like some of the other colors have kind of stained my tub a little bit but with any sort of like soap it comes right out I mean I guess technically it does stain but it does come out really easily at least that's what I've experienced. I don't know. The only downside of having black hair is I feel like it always like washes me out really bad. I always look really pale <laughs> with black hair, but that's all right. I'm also doing this without my contacts in or glasses or anything, so I really don't know if I'm missing a bunch of spots. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Overtone does come with gloves too. I don't know if I said that, but it does come with gloves, which is nice. Because especially with black, you're going to want to wear gloves. <laughs> It is kind of 
kind of expensive. It's like $28, I think, for the color depositing conditioner thing. And then they do have their own like regular conditioners that you can take in like that are meant for like every day in the shower to help keep the color up. I've never bought those before just because I just don't really care about keeping the color up that much. Um, again, these videos are just like for fun for you guys just to see like how the product works. Um, I don't actually care that much about like maintaining the color that much. But for me, the color usually lasts about two weeks, but it does depend on how often you wash your hair. If you're someone who washes your hair every single day, it's probably not going to last as long as someone who only washes their hair maybe like two or three times a week. Just something to think about. Ooh, okay. Got some on my forehead, but that's all right. So we're pretty much done. Um, I almost used the entire thing. Um, I'm going to just scrape out the rest and put the rest on because why not? But um, it usually takes me one jar to do my whole head. So also, I, I've said this in some of the past videos, don't throw away your gloves. Like take them into the shower with you so when you're rinsing it out, your hands don't get dyed in the shower. I'm gonna let it sit for like 20 minutes. It says 15, it says 10 to 15, but I usually end up going about 20 to 25. Um, some of you guys in the comments have said that you've even waited like up to an hour. So I guess you can just leave it in kind of as long as you want. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna rinse it out and I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I got it all over, but I got it all over my neck and I got it all over my arm. But you can see on my skin, like, it looks purple. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so I'm back and surprise, surprise, it's black. <laughs> um, I really like how it turned out. It's like a, it's a really nice, like, shiny, pretty black. I think this turned out really good. Um, I will say that in the shower, it looked crazy and there was quite a bit of staining in the shower but once I cleaned it with just like regular soap it came right out so it wasn't too bad. In the light, I do have some pictures of me in the light, it's not very good because it's kind of gloomy out here today but you, it, there's like hints of purple in it. Um, you can't really tell but in certain lighting there's like a little tiny bit of purple in it which is kind of cool like i showed you guys when i was dyeing my hair though when it was on my skin it looked purple on my skin so that was kind of strange but like if you look at my scalp like my scalp looks purple i don't know if you guys can see that i really like it thank you guys for watching please subscribe and i will see you guys next time